Graham versus Russell Wilson. And with that, let's go via the Coward Global Satellite Network, Peter King, NBCSports.com. Uh, this game was fun to watch. Pete Carroll's one of the Coach of the Year candidates because we all kind of counted him out. I'm sure you watched most of that game. What did you make of Russell Wilson late? Yeah, I thought down the stretch he was uh, he was incredibly good. He reminded me down the stretch of this game. The last game I saw Russell Wilson make a couple of throws uh, like this uh, was late in the NFC Championship game in 2014 yeah. uh, when he beat Aaron Rodgers after starting that game horribly. In this game, Colin, you know, to understand really how great an ending that Russell Wilson played in this game, just consider this. It's fourth and three. Your team is five and five. You're down seven points. There's three and a half minutes to go. And it's fourth and three. Okay, instead of trying to get the first down and then maybe living to fight another day, he saw a receiver uh, who had a step on a Carolina cornerback. And he said, listen, if, if I've told my, my teammates, you know, hey, we got to go for it. You know, we got to be bold, uh, you know, and, and you got to you got to play with everything you have. Yeah. I know that's all cliche stuff, but that's what he says in the huddle. That's what he says. Hey, we're trying to win this game. We're going to make big plays. So he throws a ball 47 yards in the air, drops out of the sky right into his receiver's hands in the end zone. And that, to me, was just like his throw to Jermaine Curse to win the NFC Championship game in overtime four years ago. I thought it was a, a heroic throw. Yeah. No, it just it, that game was that's and Pete Carroll. We were all banging on him. At least I was. He is up there with Matt Nagy, to me, as one of the coaches of the year. Let's shift to Baker Mayfield. Generally, rookie quarterbacks are better served with a veteran offensive coach, Hugh Jackson, a Todd Haley. But they leave, and Baker's clearly better without them. Is it an indictment on Hugh Jackson? Who deserves credit beyond Baker here? Well, I think number one, I, I think Freddie Kitchens, who's the offensive coordinator there now, and he's sort of the guru to Baker, and he's been there the whole time, so he's had a connection with Baker. I think if you ask Freddie Kitchens, he will always say, said, I like throwing the ball down the field. And that's what you're seeing now. That's what he learned under Bruce Arians for five years in, in, in Arizona. And I think that's one of the things that – that the, the the Cleveland Browns are seeing now. Baker Mayfield doesn't have a passable downfield arm. He has a good downfield arm. He doesn't have a cannon. You know, he's not throwing at 75 yards or anything, but he's got a good downfield arm, and he's accurate. When he came out in the draft last April, Colin, I'll never forget, Pro Football Focus, the analytics company, wrote that of all the quarterbacks in the draft, we trust Baker Mayfield throwing the ball downfield better than all these guys, including Josh Allen. And so I think that is coming home to roost. And I think Freddie Kitchens is getting really good stuff out of him. You know, um, I watched the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday and I gave Ben credit. I said, yes, it was a terrible. 